In today's hiring world, there's one question we keep asking. Have they done it before? Organizational psychologist Adam Grant calls this making forecasts about future success. He says, we confuse past achievements with future potential. We focus on the people who have already achieved great things, been at the top of a class, or made significant breakthroughs. When they've done it before, there's proof they can do it again, and it feels like a safe bet. But here's the catch. While experience matters, this approach creates a culture where people feel pressured to chase achievements to prove their higher ability. We become driven to tick off boxes, titles, wins, and credentials. And the problem with that? It undervalues potential, the capacity for growth. Potential is actually what forecasts future success better. So how do we value potential? It starts with assessing how someone thinks, how quickly they learn, and how they handle uncertainty. Instead of searching for proof that they've done it before, here are four things we can do to find evidence for potential. One, a growth mindset. Ask how they have learned from their failures. Two, grit. Notice how they recover from a slip up in an audition. Three, non-linear career paths. Be curious about unconventional experiences that might have broadened their skills. And four, collaborative skills. Look at how they adapt in team settings and contribute to collective success. How could you start looking for these things in the people that you currently work with, or in those you get to choose to work with? My name is Tiffany Chang, and this is Conductor as CEO, where I'm curious about ideas from other industries and how they apply to our growth as arts leaders. If these ideas resonate with you, please consider signing up in the link below to receive an email with each new blog post sent directly to your inbox. Thank you, and have a great day.